Take it away, take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Hello. Hey, welcome back to another cleaning video. Thank you so, so much for being here. I really appreciate it. So we're starting off with this toaster oven, this drip pan, man, I have done everything to try to get this gunk off of here, but we're just going to clean this to the best of my ability. So I went ahead and just put a really thick layer of some pink stuff on here. I'm, I'm, and I'm going to let this soak. I also sprayed this with some oven cleaner. Um, like I said, just leaving it in the sink and letting it soak for like a good 30 minutes before I try to scrub the majority of this off. And then I'm going to go ahead and tackle the oven cleaner and get this as oven cleaner, the toaster oven and get this as clean as possible. But I hope you are doing well. Happy hump day. I have a ton of good cleaning and deep cleaning in today's video. So I hope you are down for the ride and let's go ahead and jump into it. I deep clean this y'all gave me a lot of suggestions with the to try to get the the gunked on you know stains and grease off I did buy some wool steel Brillo pads and also some like regular um, like Brillo pads steel Brillo pads I've scrubbed this thing with both I've tried like I said um, just like everything soaking it in baking soda and vinegar overnight um, soaking it, you know, with some dish soap. I've just done everything. That stuff is just caked on and it does not come off. And I don't know why, to be honest. And that the drip pad is like, or the drip tray is really, really flimsy. And, um, so it's, it's really like, I just feel like when I'm scrubbing it, I can easily like crack it in half. But when I do use this steel, like it does lift up a lot of the extra junk, but it just doesn't get this part up at all. I just, I don't know what else to use to be honest. And it does, um, the Brillo pad does kind of scratch the surface as well. So that's something, I mean, it's a drip pan. Nobody really sees it, but it did kind of, you know, scratch the surface pretty good. But the back of this toaster oven, I tried scrubbing that, you know, as as good as I could. Like, honestly, just um, it looks a lot better. I guess that's the point that I'm trying to make. I mean, some of the stuff like the back of it and the drip tray is just not it's really, really caked on. And I honestly don't know what else to use on that thing to get it up. But it's just it's kind of, you know, when you clean, you want to see a see all the stuff, the gunk and everything that you're cleaning come off. But sometimes it's just it's 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 not going to come off, basically, is what I'm trying to say. I really I soaked it for a long time. I've even, um, the last time I cleaned this, I soaked the, both of them in the oven cleaner overnight and it just, 
it didn't work you know the majority of it did come up and i mean that's i guess the best that you can really ask for so yeah i'm just trucking along here i filled up my bucket with some hot soapy water and some pine salt and i'm just trying to get all of this oven cleaner and pink stuff out of the oven and also you know clean it as i'm doing that <laughs> did one more good scrub of this drip tray and then I just I called it a day like it's just it's not going to come up you know the rest of the stain so it's cleaned and I know that it's clean so that's really all that matters but I did also scrub the rack as well I think I'm going to try to soak the rack like overnight and see um, if that kind of helps with the you know the the gunk and everything that's kind of in between the racks but scrubbing this off did help you know take a lot of the the debris and everything off so I was happy with that and then I'm gonna go ahead and scrub clean out the kitchen sink really well and y'all so if you're new here hey thank you so much for being here I I love pine salt like I clean the majority of my stuff with pine salt the Windex bottle that you see um, with the brown solution I just fill it up with a little bit of pine salt and some water and I go about my business I love pine salt. I love the, the way pine salt smells um, it's a disinfectant it's a multi-surface cleaner it just works really well and it's honestly it's it's pretty cheap you know um, a pretty cheap and effective product but 
the last time we went to Sam's and Costco, so the, the bottle that you see me using, right? They, you could get two huge bottles of the Pine Saw for like, I want to say it was like 15 bucks. Now the bottles have shrank. So the bottles are half the size and they are the same price. I saw that. I was just like, oh my goodness. Like everything is just shrinking. I mean, inflation is real, but everything is just shrinking and either staying the same price or going up in price. And it's just absolutely ridiculous. But I love Pine Saw. I mean, I'm going to continue buying it, you know, because I just think it's a really effective product. And like I said, I just, I really love the way that it smells and I think that it works well and it's just, it's, it's multi-use, you know? Um, but I was just, I saw that and I was just like, dear Lord, like, it's just a shame that everything is just so expensive now, you know? But anyways, let's go ahead and get this sink cleaned out and then we are going to move on into the dining area. wanted to come and help out wipe down the chairs and everything so I just think that's so adorable I love when he comes and helps me but I am going to get the dining room or the dining area nice and wiped down I love these chairs these chairs are just super cute I got these off of Facebook marketplace they were uh, brand new when I got them actually and I think they were like 
two, 150, something like that for all four of the chairs. They were brand new in the box. And I absolutely love like Facebook marketplace offer. I mean, I don't, I don't use Facebook marketplace anymore, but you know, in the years back prior, I, it's definitely a good place to find like anything really like just good furniture, um, things that people are selling, like used furniture. I am a big advocate for that. A lot of the furniture and like pieces, home decor and things like that, that we have in the house, I have bought you know, secondhand or used or off like, you know, a site like that, offer up, let it go. I don't think let it go exists anymore. I'm, I'm not sure. I haven't, I haven't really checked. I, I think let it go and offer up might have merged. Um, I'm not sure. Don't, don't quote me on that, but yeah, um, got that. And then the table we also got separately. I believe I bought the table off of offer up, but I love this little set. It's super easy to clean the, the fabric is like, it's material. It's, it's not really velvet, but kind of like a, I want to say like a, not velvet, I don't know, just regular material, I guess, but just super easy to clean. And you know, this stuff, obviously it's material. So when you're eating and everything, you get fingerprints and gunky hands and all of that, you know, all on the material. But I just like to wipe it down with some, you know, hot soapy water in my staples, some pine saw. I always throw some pine saw in my water or mop water or anything when I'm cleaning. But, and this spray way, y'all, this is the first time I usually would use Windex. Like I was a super Windex user and I think I'm definitely going to stick with this. Um, I bought this spray way at Costco when we went to Costco to get our, um, you know, our, our grocery haul and you get like four big bottles. I think it was like, 1099 something like that but this stuff works really really well it's like it's ammonia free um it smells really good it has like a fresh scent and you don't have to continue spraying it like i used it i sprayed it one time and it was really streak free so i think i'm definitely gonna stick with this i'm gonna check the next time we do our sam's run i'm gonna see if they have the spray way at sam's um if they don't maybe i'll try you know when i do run out I'll try whatever, um, you know, that they have, whatever brand that they have that's similar to it to kind of compare, but definitely recommend that spray way. It works really well and is super streak free. Like you don't have to use a lot of the product at all. Um, but I just went ahead and wiped off the stove really well. Um, I love having a, a clean stove. Like even before I cook, I love having my stove cleaned. If it's, if it's not clean, I will clean it. Like, I don't know what, it's just, it's, it's a thing of mine. I have to have a clean stove before I clean or before I cook. And then I like to clean it afterwards as well. I always give away too much. Mm. It's like I've got no sense of touch. I'm always pouring out my heart. No little by little here. I'm always pushing things too far Two, five, six, ten drinks at the bar No boundaries, I get too close No little by little here Cause I give my all Oh, no little by little I pour out my The jump and rest the fall I see no limits in the sky no Little by little here No, no, got stuck on working on myself Thought I was wrong and needed help But I'm just different, something else No little by little Cause I get my oh, oh, no little by little, I pour out my heart. heart. The black, like box looking thing that's in the corner of the video, that is my walking pad. And I just kind of slid half of it under the couch. So the bigger part, it doesn't fit under the living room couch. It does fit in the front room couch. 
Um, but I've been liking lately to just use the walking pad, like kind of in the kitchen. I put it on the hardwood floor and then, you know, I watch TV as I'm getting my workout in. But that's the reason why it's currently in the kitchen. I will move it, you know, when I'm finished using it. But I just slid it kind of underneath the couch so that I can get the floor, the majority of the floor nice and vacuumed up. And then we're going to get this mopped as well. just trucking along the floor here just trying to get it nice and cleaned and mopped up it was smelling so so good in here it was so flipping hot today the last couple of days it's been like near 100 like 96 98 degrees so it was pretty warm but I absolutely love this mop I love this mop bucket so much it separates the dirty water from your clean water and anytime I go back to get some more water I just like to really like rinse off the mop head really well so i'll dunk it in the um you know I'll, I'll fill the resin with some water and then i'll dunk it here and just try to get the dirty water off and then i'll wring it out and then i will do the same process um but just i, I really recommend this thing i always talk about it it's just a really good mop bucket system in my opinion um, but when we are finished with the floor, which I'm almost done here, I already wiped down the countertops. I didn't, um, I didn't film that, but I did wipe down the countertops really well. And then we are pretty much done with the kitchen. We're going to move on into the living room. <music>
I spill it, cause I need it now. Money is a the it. kitchen is nice and wiped down and cleaned and just feeling, it smells so good in there. So now we are moving on into the living room and I was just showing y'all here, little man had all of his stuff out, okay? He was just having himself a ball in here. So I did let him watch his show earlier so he um i let him he loves watching like um it's songs for littles and then paisley's corner on youtube so they're like just you know cute little learning shows but i do limit the amount of screen time that he has so he can watch it for an hour a day and that is it so after you know he watches his show um, you know, he obviously he's, he's playing and I don't mind him, you know, playing with this stuff. And you know, that's, that's what kids are supposed to do. So he was drawing and he had his crowns out and he was playing with his tools and his cars. And he was making himself like a little car wash station and just doing all the things, but it is time to, you know, to clean up. And I do make sure that he is a part of that. So I do try to get him involved in, you know, everything that we do, you know, around the house and cleaning up. And I just think it's super important for your kids to have age appropriate, you know, chores and everything. So cleanup as far as his toys goes is definitely something that I incorporate into our daily routine, especially before, you know, I get him down for a nap. So we'll come in here, we'll pick up his toys and yes, I will help him. I know that every parent is, is different. Um, but he does sometimes get like distracted as he was picking up his cars. He was trying to show me everything, you know, every single car that he had in his little bucket. But um, yeah, so he was just out here. He was drawing and just just doing it all. But um, we're going to get this, you know, all of his toys just nice and picked up and put back into his little area. And we're just going to reset the living room. But, uh, so I can't song singing, I need it now. putting you know his toys back into his little area he was also going and putting some of the toys that we keep upstairs in his room back in his you know his little um bucket upstairs his little basket upstairs in his room but i saw this actually um on youtube so i saw this mom that so her daughter's room, she has no toys or like a TV in her daughter's room. And we, we do have a little TV screen in little man's room. He, he doesn't use it. It was just an extra TV um, screen that we had from our old computer. And I just moved it into his room. You know, as he gets older, I'm sure he, you know, he can use it, but wanted to put it to good use. So we just put it in there, but in her daughter's room, <laughs> Y'all, we were acting like he was, he had this little pony and he was like, giddy up. He's like, come on, let's act like we're riding the horse. But anyway, so I saw this, um, she doesn't keep any kind of toys or anything in her daughter's room. And the reason why she does this is, um, because it, so I guess, I, I think, I don't know if she was like a doctor or what, or some kind of like, um, special therapist or something like that, but supposedly your 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 children's room is supposed to be like a serene area where like your you know they shouldn't have like any any type of things that like stimulate them like toys or a tv or anything like that and i know that like even in adulthood like some people say that you're not supposed to have like a tv in your room you know your room is supposed to be like your area where you rest and that is it but i just thought that was super interesting like i i 
always find it interesting how, you know, the different ways that like people parent and there's just so much that goes into it, you know, as far as like, you know, what your kids eat and what they watch and how they have their room set up and, you know, what toys they play with and <clears throat> excuse me and things like that. But I just thought that was like, that was super, super interesting how she had that set up. Not that I'm going to follow this or anything. Um, I, you know, that's not the way that, you know, that we do things. I just thought it was interesting. It's, it's interesting how people, you know, parent your parent, their kids, like parent your kids the way that you deem necessary. But I just thought that was um, kind of interesting. But anyway, so the living room is just picked up and reset and the, I got myself a really good workout in. And then the next morning we headed off to the lake. We spent the majority of the day there. It was just like a really, really good time. Little man had himself a ball. We actually all had, a, a, you know, had some fun. So I already pulled like everything, all the bags and the chairs and the toys and everything else, the um, the little inflatable, you know, things that we had. I pulled everything out of the trunk already and I really just wanted to get the car just nice and vacuumed. There was sand, I, I know that you really can't see it, but there was sand like everywhere. So I, like I said, I already pulled everything off and I shook everything out and I really just want to get the car nice and vacuumed up and clean. So that is what we're starting starting with.
keep a really cheap vacuum, like a $45 vacuum from Walmart in the garage for the cars, like when we vacuumed out the cars. But I have since gotten rid of that. I just, it is so much easier to clean with this, you know, cordless vacuum. And honestly, it wasn't something that I use like all the time. It was just taking up space in the garage. And so I ended up getting rid of it. This is just the shark vacuum, you know, that we, that I use, you know, throughout the house and everything. And, you know, you, you clean, I clean the vacuum every so often. And so this worked a lot easier, just so much easier, you know, didn't have to worry about the cords, you know, wrapping around underneath the car and everything like that. And it was easy to switch back and forth, you know, to the, from the attachments. And I just like this a lot better. And honestly, getting rid of things, you know, decluttering and getting rid of things that you don't really use on an everyday or even often basis, in my opinion, is just, it, it's a really good feeling. And so it just felt good to, um, to use this vacuum and not have to worry about, like I said, cords and everything like that. So it was dying though. So I guess that's the one downfall to using, you know, cordless things. So I was kind of trying to hurry because it was blinking right here. I did want to also vacuum out our wagon. So I didn't end up actually showing you how the car looked after I was finished vacuuming it, but it does just look a lot better. I got all the sand up off of the floors and then I am going to go back out here and just like wipe everything down, you know, wipe the steering wheel and the dashboard and just like the doors and everything like that. Just get it nice and cleaned and smelling good. But after I was finished with this, I just put all the rugs and everything back together. And then I did end up um, vacuuming out our wagon. So this little wagon, y'all, I love this thing. I absolutely love it. We have used, we use this all the time. Um, we got it at Sam's and I think we got it for like 60 bucks, something like that. We got it on sale, but highly, highly recommend it. Um, like I said, we've used it for everything, you know, taking little man trick or treating and trips to the lake, trips to the parks, um, camping, just everything. It is such a good little wagon. It is really, really sturdy and I really do recommend it. I mean, even for your kids, like if you're, you know, if you're like a, a game mom, a game dad and, you know, taking it to, you know, your, your kids games, you know, to haul like their, their, um, their athlete, you know, their, what is it called? What am I thinking of? Like their stuff, you know, their soccer things or their football things, whatever hobby or sport that they're into. It's just a really good wagon to have and, you know, have around the house. So I got that nice and vacuumed up and I just put that back in its place. And then we are going to move up into little man's room. So I want to get his linen just nice and changed out. I did, we do have, um, so we recently bought some more mattress covers from Amazon. So we have a total of four now, which is super, super convenient. I usually put two mattress covers um, on his bed at a time and I will switch them out. Um, he is he's doing so, so well, y'all, with the potty training. So the overnight training, like super, super well. But we also keep these hospital pads um, in his bed as well, just for extra, an extra layer of, prote of protection. It's just so, so convenient. Like if he does have an accident, um, it, it doesn't go through those, those pads. Like the pads are legit. They're the, the large um, hospital pads. We got those on Amazon as well. But um, yeah, so I just switched out his to the mattress covers that were on there to some clean mattress covers and I'm going to get everything nice and washed up. But we're going to get this done and then I also want to get his floor nice and vacuumed up and mopped as well.
going to cover his window with some like some tint film i i do have some in the basement i believe from when i did the the front door i believe it was charlotte who gave me that suggestion thank you so much it does get super warm in his room we have this fan here and then he also has a ceiling fan that we put on at night so it stays you know a little bit cool and um yeah i think that is a really really good suggestion so i think i want to do that tomorrow just put the leftover film that i I have downstairs hopefully I have enough if not I'll probably just run like to Home Depot or something like that and get him you know um, get some more film to cover his window and hopefully that will help a little bit with the heat <laughs> smelling amazing in here thank you so much for being here i really appreciate it i hope that this video brought you a ton of cleaning motivation and i will definitely see you soon bye <laughs>